In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the Make Component tool from the Principal Toolbar. Before we can use the Make Component tool, we first need to have an object that we can make a component from. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a small object and first we're going to grab the Rectangle tool to create the base of that object. So click to begin on screen and then drag it out to the bottom right corner and click again. Again we can then use the ISO view on the standard view list. Then we can get the push pull tool, either P for push pull or click on the tool. Click on the surface and drag it up. Next what we need to do is we need to select the item that we wish to make a component. So click on the select tool, drag either a box around the object using the select tool or you could potentially triple click on one of the surfaces and it will select everything connected to that surface. Then once you've selected everything the make component feature will now be active. So we can click on that button and it will bring open the component dialog. So we could call this um, a box, for example. Um, you could give that box a description. You could then set the component axis. So we could go set component axis, click on a corner, take it along the edge, click again for the red axis, then go to the left hand side for the green axis, and then the blue axis will naturally be set. You can then glue it to planes, so you could glue it only to um, horizontal planes. So for example, if you wanted that box only to be orientated vertically on a shelf, you could set it to horizontals so it doesn't be so it isn't placed in the wrong direction. Um, or you could set it to any any plane which means it will align to any plane vertical or horizontal. So we'll just leave that for now. Um, you can set it to always face the camera so the, the box will look at you wherever you go. This is mainly only used for um, 2D images of people or trees that you, you have in your model and you want them to face the camera at all times because they are 2D. Um, then we want to make sure that replace selection with component is ticked because we want to replace what is selected there with the component once we finally press create. And now that we've created it you can see that it's now been put into a, a bounding box and you can edit that component by right clicking on it and then clicking on edit component and you can modify and change that component with for example the push pull tool. The beauty about components is if I have two of them, I could select this component, get the move tool, click to begin, move it to the right, press control for copy, then click to finish. Then if you remember from the selection tips tutorial, we can then press on the spacebar or click on select and that will stop us from being able to move the object. Now to test the component we could right click again on the component or with the select tool double click on it and that would then get us into the edit menu for editing the component then get the push pull tool click on the surface and you'll see that they both change at the same time. So that's the beauty about components if you have an, a project that you're doing and you and you require um, the object to be used more than once you can make it a component and so if you need to change it you only need to change one and the rest of them will change. We will also be going into more further detail in the intermediate tips um, for creating a component from a, a coffee table so this is just an intro to show you where the tool is to make a component 
um, how you go about the initial process to create a component um, and just briefly how to use a component.